Hello guys. So finally turning my attention back to the repeat and um, one little issue in particular that's been bothering me quite a bit and I don't know if you remember but when I tried to take off the magneto cowl um, there was a little issue with this stud right here. You may recall that when I removed the cowl for the magneto here, uh, I tried to take this nut off and found it to be loose actually and what happened was when I pulled it out the entire stud came out of the casing. So unscrewing the stud from the casing wasn't so much a problem but what we found was removing this stud, uh, it actually just pulled out, there was material on the end of this thread here which was rather disturbing um, given that this is a, a case stud um, so it mates the two uh, crank cases together and so but it only went about maybe less than quarter of an inch onto this thread and so subsequently what we found out was um, it's the wrong stud so you can see here this is supposed to be an ET109-13 um, it's supposed to be 4.35 inches long and it's it's less than four inches and the thread is the same on both sides in fact when in fact the coarser thread this is the side that goes into the case so I'm not quite sure what this is from but it's wrong anyway the worst case scenario here is that if the thread inside is truly stripped by this bolt then we could potentially be looking at having to split the crank case and helicoil or rethread somehow the inside of this mating side of the case here. So hopefully we don't need to have to resort to that. Using a little bore scope camera we thought we would take a look inside that stud hole to see if we could see what the threads look like. So the very good news is, thanks to my friend Dick, I'm very grateful, he got me this stud. Uh, it's the same thread pattern, so it's 22 teeth per inch, uh, BSF standard essentially. Um, and he, he started the thread here, and we put this bolt into the case, just to see if the thread would catch and hold. You may remember on the old or the incorrect stud there was alloy casing material up to about there I would say and so the goal was to put this bolt in to see if it would catch and see if we could then continue threading this long long bolt into the casing. The goal here is of course to see if there's enough thread remaining uh, beyond the worn out part the stripped threads to actually hold a stud in place without having to split the crankcase. And as we push this bolt in here, I've just masked it off because we've tried this before, um, it hits there, it starts hitting the thread there, and this was the amount of thread that held. So just to repeat the process, I'm going to very carefully thread this long bolt in and you'll see where it catches on the thread there. Continue turning. And it's holding. And I haven't actually tightened it yet as well. That's fairly secure there now. Um, I think I could tighten a little bit more. But what I'm saying is I think there's enough thread there now to actually hold the stud in place. So the next steps will be to order 
a standard stud, but not the original standard stud for this location. I think it's this location, I'm not sure. It's about five or five and a half inches long, so it will be longer, but we'll be able to get the thread further in the, into the crankcase. And then it's obviously going to be too long. Uh, we'll, we'll tap the end of it and then cut it off once the nut has been established. And so now we have a better mating on the inside and then the nut on the outside as well. Essentially a brand new stud that's fitted. That will go in just a little bit further. But I'm not going to play with it until we're ready to fix the new stud in there. There's possibly about 7 sixteenths maybe one half of an inch of thread that's holding now and possibly more once I tighten up the the new stud um, so hopefully that's going to suffice for now the studs just arrived today from Coventry Spares and uh, this one here this is the uh, the stud that came out of the case it's the incorrect stud uh, this is the actual stud that should fit in that location. Um, I know I'd originally talked about getting the longer stud and putting a die on this and um, increasing the thread here so that I could get more of this thread into the case but um, I thought it would be helpful just to order the standard stud first of all and see if this one will hold and then if not we can potentially move to the longer stud as well. Hello guys, well I'm absolutely delighted to tell you that the original stud fitted perfectly into the case. So uh, we double nutted this uh, stud and Dick and I managed to get this in and it holds and it's in great condition. And we've got a little bit of space. I might just possibly put a spring washer. I know that this tab is supposed to act as the washer on this model, the Series C later C's, but uh, yeah, it's fantastic. I'm really glad that it helped. Um, sorry I couldn't show you the stud going in, but um, I've got some anti-seize lubricant on there. I haven't loctited it or anything. Um, obviously got some anti-seize lubricant here as well to get this nut off. Um, like I say, I might just put a spring washer under the tab so that um, it's not putting any pressure on the stud when we get the magneto cowl on there. But uh, that's it, another job done. I'm very, very happy about that. So uh, move on to the next project. Okay, see you guys.